Hello chess friends, today I will show you a fascinating game, between AlphaZero vs Magnus Carlsen. It's a game between Super Engine, and a Super Grandmaster. Ok, let's go, Magnus begins with E4. E5. Knight F3. Knight C6. Bishop B5. In this position, you can play A6. Or Knight F6 and also f5, challenging move. It is Janish Gambit, I made a particular video about this, you can easily find this gambit in my playlist, right side of the i button. Let me show the variation, f5. White captures on f5. e4. The knight need a save place, every square is firing by the knight and queen. And you can't play knight g1, because of queen g5, hiding both of these pawns. So, therefore white plays queen e2, queen e7. The knight needs a guard, knight g1. Knight d4. Targeting both of these pieces and threatening knight takes c2. And, you know, white will lose his material. I made a particular video about this how you can play on your game, you can check out later after watching this video. Back to the position, Alpha Zero didn't play f5, because he is my recent subscriber, he doesn't know about that. He will watch that video after playing this game. He played a6. Bishop a4. You might think bishop can take the knight, then white will get the e pawn. For example, bishop takes knight. Pawn takes bishop. Knight takes e5. Then queen d4, targeting both of these pieces. So, Magnus played bishop a4. Knight f6. Castle. b5. Bishop b3. Bishop c5. White have many lines here, he can play a4. d3. Or c3, d4. Here Magnus Carlsen played c3. d6 d4. Bishop b6. Bishop e3. Bishop g4. Knight bd2. Castle. Magnus played h3. You might think Magnus could play d5. I am showing the variation, and making pawn structure like this. Then bishop takes e3. f takes e3. And after some moves later, we have this position. You might think black have little space, but black will push his pawn to do pawn break. White have double pawn and the king's structure is weak actually. This pawn is a permanent target for the knight, and white pieces are very passive. Back to the position, Magnus played h3. Bishop h5. Queen c2, it's not best move. Best move was d takes e5. e takes d4. c takes d4. Targeting the knight? So, alpha played knight a5. Bishop d5. c6. Alpha sacrificing his pawn as tempo, bishop takes pawn. Rook c8. The bishop is pinned to the queen. d5? Bishop takes e3. f takes e3. Bishop g6. Magnus played before but best move was queen d3. Let me show the variation. Queen d3. Giving back the black's pawn. But Magnus didn't play this, he played before. Black is in trouble, I want you guys pause the video, and try to find the brilliant move for alpha zero, go. Ok, time up. Alpha Zero is a stockfish subscriber, he goes for a brilliant level, he played knight takes d5, you can't take the knight because the pawn is pinned. And also bishop can't take knight for the same reason. b takes a5. Knight b4. Queen b3. Knight takes c6. a4. Knight takes a5. Queen d3. 
Knight c4. Queen d4. Rook e8. At takes b5. At takes b5. You can't take the knight because of rook takes knight. Then alpha will get a passed pawn. And white have double e pawn. Bishop and rook targeting this pawns very well. So, Magnus played rook e7, rook threads nothing but it's freezing the 7th rank. h6. Rook b7. Rook c5. Rook b1. Knight a3. Magnus played rook b2, it's a mistake. Best move was rook b3. Targeting the knight with the support of the knight. Rook e7. Rook takes e7. Queen takes e7. Rook a2. Knight c2. Magnus played queen d3. Knight b4. Targeting both of these pieces. In this position you can't play any other move. For example, if queen b2 happen. Bishop takes pawn, he wants bishop d5. Knight takes e4. Queen takes e4, threatening to play knight takes pawn. Queen b3. Knight takes e3. Rook e2. Rook c1 check. Rook takes e1. Knight takes e1. Black is winning because he have two passed pawns and white's king is very weak. Back to the position. Magnus played queen d3. Knight b4. Rook a8 check. King h7. Queen a3. Knight c6. Queen a2. Knight e5. You can't take the knight. Let me show the variation. Knight takes e5. Rook c1 check. King f2. D takes e5. Queen h4 check. Bishop h5. Queen takes h3 check. Black is totally winning here. So, in this position, Magnus played king h2. Knight takes f3 check. G takes f3. Queen h4. Knight f1. Bishop takes e4, Alpha sacrificed his bishop, because he is a stockfish subscriber. And if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, subscribe the channel with a beautiful comment and like. f takes e4. Queen takes e4. Black is threatening rook c2 check. And, if queen moves away the rook will lose his guard. So, queen g2 by Magnus. Rook c2. Knight d2. Queen e3, targeting the knight, and the queen, it's a multi-layer tactic. So, knight f3. Rook takes g2 check. In this position Magnus Carlsen resigned. Let's see how the game will be end, don't stop the video, stay with me. King takes g2. b4. Rook a2. b3. Rook f2. Queen c1. Knight d2. b2. King f3. Queen d1 check. King e3. d5. King f4. d4. h4. b1 is equal to queen. Knight takes b1. Queen takes b1. Rook f3. Queen c2. It's checkmate. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.